What's up, guys? I am going to be playing some Sega 32X. Been torn around on the Retro Pie, deciding on what I wanted to play tonight. I actually felt like live streaming tonight. And I might be getting back in the habit of this. Um, not so many edited videos here in the next month or two. But maybe, to make it up to you guys, I'll live stream a little bit more. So... I'm going to be playing some 32X. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to play it every single game. But maybe I'll do like a part one, part two, and share my thoughts on the 32X. Um, this system obviously was a complete failure. Sega blew it. Sega blew it big time. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking. They should have just waited for the Sega Saturn. Um, but it, it is what it is. Now, there are some games on here that are underrated. There are some games on here that are good. But for the most part, there's hardly any games on the 32X. Um, and it was failed from the start. And to me, I, I, I did play it as a kid. I had a buddy who owned a, a 32X. And it was just a curiosity to me. If I would have known... That those suckers were like thirty or twenty dollars at Toys R Us, I would have gone and I would have bought every single one of them. I love the 32X. I I have one personally, and I have somewhere around twelve to fourteen games. And again, I love it. I I'm not going for complete set. There's no way in heck I'm gonna go for that. So we're gonna go and get started. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hope. Your Tuesday has treated you well. Um, I'm back in school now, and uh, it it the first week of school is rough for me. But yeah, um, I love school. I love teaching. I love being involved in you know use lives. I love being a coach. I love all that stuff. Being an influence, a mentor, etc. Okay, so with all that being said, let's get down to it and let's play some. I actually really like this game. It's called Fred Couples 36 Great Holes. I'm not going to play it long. Okay, <laughs> and I don't plan on playing these games. There's some games I might just play for five minutes or something. So if this game is not your cup of tea, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> we'll we'll uh, check this out, though. The 32X, man, <sighs> Sega, I, again, I'm just confounded. I'm just confounded that this thing even exists. Um, it should have been its own standalone system. Whoever the heck Fred Couples is. This is actually a really fun golf game. Um, we're just going to go ahead and play... Fred's favorite. <laughs> Press start to play. What? There we go. Alright, so I'm playing as Fred Couples here. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Okay. Yeah, I want the driver. Oh man, I, I whiffed that. Um, this game actually plays pretty good. Okay. Um, hmm. Where am I at? Okay. The graphics are very choppy on this one. Uh, okay, okay. I see the flagpole. Oh boy, that might actually no. <laughs> What's the par here? Four? Lie in the rough. Ah! I actually made it onto the green. Shot went 98 yards. 48 yards to the pin. It, and like I said, for a golf game, I mean, it's not like we. 
golf or anything. I mean, it's not that good. We golf is not that good, by the way. But as far as golf games, it's not bad. Dang it. I keep... Mm, keep messing up. I might do one more hole. Ooh. Really, for what I, you know, barely playing this game. Ah. <laughs> I'm not doing horrible here. The putting. There we go. Let's do one more hole. Fred Couples plus four. And I kind of like that little transition. Like the little bars there. Oh, I wish I could have that one back. <laughs> Gosh dang it. There we go. I actually got pretty decent at this. Ooh. Woohoo! Look at that. What's the. It's three, so I'm going to make par. Yes! Let's do one more hole, just for the heck of it. That one was better. Don't go in the water. I actually recommend this game. I highly recommend it. Um, oof. Going in the water. <laughs> Why in the, the hazard? Did it go? Did it go? No. Barely. Oof. That was pretty good. Now let's see if I can put it in. Ah. There we go. This is actually pretty addictive here. Okay. All right. So let's play something else on the 32X. And maybe I'll just like, I'll pick the Intellivision or, or the Atari 2600. And play some games. Afterburner. Okay, this one I won't play very long. But uh, I, I love my Retro Pie. I, I got this off of a Facebook Marketplace. Um, probably mid-fall. Somewhere around there. And uh, really great. So this is a pretty close... Extra easy. Let's go extra easy because I suck at afterburner. All right. Push the start button. Pretty close to the arcade. It's a really good arcade port. Um, I actually watched over break. I watched a lot of um, Game Sack and I watched their episode on the 32x and uh, Joe talked about this game in particular and uh, also Space Harrier and how it's a really close especially at the time in the mid 90s this was a really close port to the arcade and you gotta think in the mid 90s having a, an almost arcade perfect game in the home it, it was almost near to impossible I mean Maybe some PC stuff. I don't know. Uh, Afterburner. I do remember playing Afterburner um, in the arcades. I remember playing the, with the joystick. I was terrible at it, but I do remember it. And uh, I would often go to it first because I love the joystick. I, I played with the joystick, and I think... You know, the last memory I have of playing it at our, our local mall, um, the joystick was broke. And I was really, really upset about that because this game, it's not bad. You know, um, 
It's one of Sega's early arcade hits. And uh, I think, you know, you know, Top Gun on the NES owes a lot to this game. Um, this genre in general owes a lot to this game. Uh, dang it. So, yeah. Um, and it's just a good old arcade game. What can I say about it? And it's getting a little harder here. This would be a fun one to do, like, a full playthrough. Uh, and that's another thing I'm going to be doing on my channel this year. Is I'm just going to do playthroughs. I've already... I've done one recently. Oh, about a week ago or so. I did one of Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo. And it could be games that... You know, I'm very, very familiar with. Or it could be games that I've never played before. And just trying to complete... I need to use my missiles more. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love it. This is actually really fun. Nice. That's pretty cool. The graphics are nice here. I, I'm just curious if Sega would have done some more arcade ports. If the 32X would have been more successful. I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It, it had to have some more third party support. And there was barely any third party support. Um, and... It, that's what it lacked. Obviously, it was probably a very hard system to program for. And here's the thing. I mean, why did it need to be on the Sega Genesis? Why did why did it need to be attached to the Sega Genesis? I mean, it, it already had enough stuff on it from um, you know having the Sega CD attached to it. The Sega CD had to have the Sega Genesis in order to play it. And the same, that's the same thing with the 32X. You had to have the Sega Genesis in order to play it. It's not its own standalone system. It's not anything like that. It, Yeah. Okay. Let's play another game. What's up, Space Trance? Trance? How you doing? Terry! What's going on? BC Racers. Alright, let's play some BC Racers. I heard that this version is awful. Um, there are other versions out there. Uh, is it... There's one on the Atari Jaguar? Is that right? Or is it on the Sega CD? Um, Alright. Okay, all right, let's just play and figure this out. Knuckles Chaotix. Yes, I'll play some Knuckles Chaotic. Um, isn't that? Yeah, it is. It's uh, what's his face? Uh, Chuck Rock, right? <laughs> okay, I'm trying to figure out how to go. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> these controls man oh wow am I missing something here three laps to go alright let's see if I can actually get up there and do something I like how there's paved streets in prehistoric times here I want to get past somebody there I'm in seventh place. This game sucks. We'll try one more race here. Um, the controls are flighty here. Um, the graphics are less than stellar. I got sixth place. So uh, let's try that again. 
Let's try another race. What the heck? Ooh, I'm in first, but oh my gosh. This is atrocious. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. This is horrible. It's like you got to learn to slide all over the track. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, I can't I can't play this anymore. <laughs> Let's play something else. Okay. I'm just kind of going in order here. Um Do I want to play Blackthorn? This deserves like a full playthrough. This one deserves a full playthrough. Uh but I'm not going to do a full playthrough, obviously. Um Alright, let's uh, try it out. Just a little bit. I'll give you guys a little snippet. This is a great game. Um, it plays a lot. I think it's even made by the same guys who made um, uh, Abe's Odyssey. I think it plays just like it. Um, and the graphics are phenomenal. This has actually been released. It was on the PC. That's the one I played. We're just going to play a little bit here. Uh Okay. All right. I played it on uh, PC, and I I own it on uh, the Super Nintendo. <laughs> um, it's a very slow game. Okay, that's how you run. And uh, very methodical. You got to have bombs here. You got to talk to one of these dudes. To, to use the bomb. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's very strategic. I want to kill some enemies here real quick, though. Ah, dang it. You can, like, hide. You hide in the background like that. Ah, dang it. There you go. It's very rewarding. Let's just say that. What's up, Tongue Tastic? Oh man, going into work. I'm just playing some 32x tonight. Random stream. Let's play some Brutal Unleashed. This is a fighting game. I remember playing this back in the day, and I remember it being terrible. So we'll see. I hope you have a, a good night of work, Tongue Tastic Voyage. So yeah, I I don't know what else to say about this, the 32x. It's a curiosity, and uh, for collect collectors like collectors like me. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but you know, being thir in my 30s, growing up on Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo. Sega CD, all that stuff. You know, in collecting this, this is just like a pure curiosity thing. Um, we're just going to go into it. I'm not going to mess with the options. And <clears throat> I, I love weird stuff like this. I absolutely love weird systems, obscure systems that failed. Uh, especially, you know, like the Virtual Boy. The 32X, the CDI, the 3DO. I, the 3DO, you can make an argument it really wasn't a failed system. Um, but I, I love stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Let's try this out. 
Probably gonna get my butt kicked. Yeah, this and this game doesn't look much better than the Super Nintendo version. So next generation. Wow, this is like really fast. Maybe I should have turned down the. I'm the rabbit looking dude, like Bugs Bunny looking dude. You need like a six button controller for this. This is really flighty. Yeah, this this game came out on the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. So I don't know what the difference is. The graphics do not look very impressive for what it's supposed to be. And you're going to see that, a lot of that, on the 32X. Like, it's really not that great. Alright, I can't stand playing that anymore. I'm sorry. Okay, Cosmic Carnage. This is a really strange fighting game. Another fighting game. Alright, let's play it. <laughs> and I'm probably going to zoom through this one too. Um, I don't recommend this game. I own it. I have a physical uh, copy of this game. I, I think I have a complete in box. And it is bizarre. It's up there. If you've ever played Balls... On Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis, it's up there as one of those kind of weird games. Um, like, it has some weird 3D effects. So, yeah, I'll, I'll mess with it since I was having some difficulty. The characters are very strange, okay? I'm going to go with the Ninja Dude. Um, I mean, you gotta think, I mean, there were a lot, oh, that's cool looking. I'll go with the standard, um, Naru Naruto, ha! <laughs> there were a lot of strange, uh, fighting games in the 90s. Oh my gosh. And this is up there. It's one of the stranger ones, too. I mean, it has good music. So. I'm doing something right. I did turn it on easy, though. Maybe that's part of it. Why does he do that? And I'm, like, throwing him? Yeah, there's, like, massive slowdown. And I don't even think it's because of the emulation. Oh, that was cool. Let's try that again. And really, the emulation is pretty spot on. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could tell your friends about this game. Like, if they're asking for, like, a really cool fighting game, just tell them, tell them about this game, uh, Cosmic Carnage on the 32X. <laughs> Awful. Remaining life. Um, what's up, JT? How you been? I'd like to know how to use that sword. I like the music here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, yeah. Threw him on his head. Yeah, the music's not bad, really. It does remind me of like a Sega Genesis game. I'll say that. Oh, there you go. I was wondering how you do that. What did I do there? That was weird. Ah. Ah. Does that make you, like, more acceptable to damage when you do that? Let's see what the next fight is. And then we'll move on. Um, I don't recommend this game. Um, there are a lot better fighters out there than this game. Good to hear, JT. So, yeah, let's look here. It's You can select your parts.
Let's select this. Uh, he looks cooler there. Ah! He messed me up there. I'd like to know how to do special moves. <laughs> what was that? Oh... Uh. I mean, that, this character, the character I'm fighting looks cool. I'll say that. I mean, it's still weird. It's that weird 90s feel, I guess. But. Oh, what did I do? Threw him on his head. There you go. Come on. I'm going to lose here. Alright. Let's play something else. Uh, that's not bad. I mean, it, I said it was horrible. But it's not... It's not good, but it's not bad either. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's just average. Oops. Dark Side. I believe this game was only released in Europe. Don't quote me on that. Um, but everything that I've seen... And heard about this game uh, only released in Europe. Dark Side, it's a shooter game. Um, and it's a very boring one at that, from what I remember or recall the footage. Now look at that. Is that 32-bit graphics? Frontier Developments. Yeah, see? This was a UK, um, Europe exclusive to the 32x i would like to I'd like to see the sales figures for um the 32x in uh the pal regions um i would really like to see that i know it tanked everywhere um okay how do i go here wow it's, i look like an x-wing or something the graphics here, oh my lord. Huh. Nice. Fantasy versus Grain Blue Grand, Grand Blue Fantasy versus. Nice. Um PlayStation 4 Is there anything I'm excited for coming out? Ah oh, man. It's hard saying. This is boring, man. Alright, let's see if I can slow down. Oh, man. Get off of me. It's like a... There we go. Got him. This sucks. This is horrible. Okay. This is worse than I remembered. What is this? Asteroids? You could target. Okay. You can actually target. There's a... Oh, I didn't even see that. And the, the top of the screen there, there's a... Uh, like a uh, radar... System. Yeah, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I mean, Star Wars Arcade is better than this. Alright, let's play something else. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Yeah, you're right. Duh. I had that pre-ordered. I have the special edition pre-ordered. I got it for the same price as the standard version. It was on sale somewhere. And uh, I, I ended up getting it. Or I have it pre-ordered, I should say. And I plan on doing a Final Fantasy VII review and then, like, first impressions of uh, the new game. Okay, so here. Do I really want to play Doom? Oops. Let's play some Doom on the 32X. Um, I actually have Doom 1 and 2 on the PlayStation 4. 
It came out on the PlayStation uh, Network uh, over the summer. And I, I have both Doom 1 and 2. I didn't get Doom 3. I'm just not familiar with Doom 3. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's not a good game. I'm just not as familiar with it. Yeah, we'll see. I've been kind of done with Square Enix for a while. I'm too young to die. Entering level one. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen the 32X version. Oh my lord. Wow, that is grainy. It's letterboxed. Oh, th and this is based off the Atari Jaguar version. Um, I watch um, Stop Skeletons from Fighting. Th that's one of my favorite channels. He's uh, the he the old happy uh, video game nerd. That was his. Well, you know that's what he started out as, and then he he started the Stop Skeletons from Fighting. And he does punching weight. And he actually talked about Doom on the 32X. He loves Doom. He, he talks about all the Doom ports. The pros and cons. Which ones are more faithful. And I remember him talking about the 32X version being atrocious. This does not look good. Um, I mean, it plays alright. It's better than the Super Nintendo version. I'll say that. The Super Nintendo version. Oh. That is quite possibly one of the worst versions um, of Doom out there. We'll play a little bit more Doom. The music in this one, not bad. Dang it. The letterboxing here is a little strange. I'm not going to lie. All right, I got the shotgun. And who doesn't love Doom? Doom is so much fun. Um, I I do remember playing this on the PC. Now, <laughs> I'll share my little PC story. So my my rental store, my video rental game rental store they actually rented out pc games okay um and <laughs> god bless their hearts um basically we would rent these games and you back then you could copy the game to your computer so we would we would spend the five dollars or whatever to rent a bunch of games PC games and our PC ended up we ended up having like 20 or 30 games free games basically I mean is that wrong <laughs> yeah but you know who rents PC games um, I remember we, we got Mortal Kombat on the PC uh, and to me I thought that was a pretty big deal uh, we got Wolfenstein 3D, this, Doom 2, I believe, Lemmings, SimCity. Oh, man, we were kind of spoiled there because back then those games were not cheap. The music here is awful. Ugh. Okay, that's enough of Doom. FIFA 96. Ugh. <laughs> I'll play a little bit of it, um, but yeah, it, it's really strange. I mean, I've never really heard of that. Um, my rental store, it was called Cinema Plus. Uh, I actually have some games from Cinema Plus in my collection, and they still have the label on it. And to me, those games are extra special because I could have rented those games. Like, I have a link to the past. 1977 FIFA, what the heck? Um, so I could have rented that game. I, I have um, Final Fantasy 3, you know, 6. I know I rented that one. And I also have Final Fantasy 2. And I leave the labels on. I don't care. To me, those, those labels are more special than actually owning the games. I mean, I love owning the games. Don't get me wrong. 
Let's just do a friendly here. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to play it here for a second. Wow, I really kicked the crap out of that ball. <laughs> the angle here is weird. Um, the controls <laughs> are floaty as none other. Let's see if I can actually kick. <laughs> oh, he kicked it out. I'm going to get scored on. I know it. Um... Throw it in? What? Oh, yeah. Kick that ball. I know soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. I get it. Oh. I mean, to be fair, this is not horrible. But it's not 32-bit 32, 32 graphics. It looks better than a Sega Genesis game. I'll say that. But that's not saying much. Um, <laughs> What's up, Charles? How you doing? Charlie Brown, how you doing, buddy? All right, we're going to play. That was not bad. Okay. Knuckles Chaotic. Um, probably the best game on the system. Um, it is a very strange game and I was very, very curious about this game when I was a kid, I would see it. One of my other rental stores, um, it was actually called, um, Aardvark video. That was the name of it. I had to think deep there. I had to dig deep. Um, and they had 32 X games for you to rent. And I was obsessed. I mean, obsessed with Sonic. And when I saw that, I about flipped out. Um, and I didn't even know what a 32X was until my friend showed me. And I played this game, finally played it. When I. Um, Data won. I'm not going to save here. Um, but I finally played this at a friend's house for the first time. And I'm like, what is this? This is not a fun game. I didn't understand it, what it was, really. And then I played it again as an adult and beat it and absolutely loved it. It's different. The rubber banding system is not ideal. Um, but again, it, you know, it should have just been a traditional Sonic the Hedgehog game with Knuckles in it. Um, and I don't understand why you have this rubber band system or whatever, but it is push start to skip. Okay. I do like the graphics. It's very colorful. See, I'm like, there's a bunch of weird abilities too. Hold. And see, you got to do different things like this. There you go. See, the music here is rocking. And it's more of a... I mean, I almost want to say it's a puzzle-based game than a Sonic... I mean, it is a Sonic game. Dang it. Okay, I got to hold him there. Dang it. There we go. And you can like hold them. Yeah, the music does sound kind of Mega Man-ish. And uh, I played this in college and still had no idea what it was. But again, I, I played it. I, I remember buying it. 
um, and playing through it and loving it. I do like that little rubber band effect, but... And this, this introduced more characters in the Sonic universe. Um, some very obscure ones. And uh, I do love that Sonic Mania pays some tribute to these characters. No, oh, that was nice. I want to get to the stage select. Come on. There we go. It takes me a while to remember how to do that. Ah. Gosh dang it. There. But yeah, a really strange Sonic game. You know, I I absolutely love the Sega Genesis Mini. Absolutely love that. I love these collections that uh, Sega keeps putting out. I really want them to do like a deep cut collection um, of lesser known games. I mean, they, they kind of did that in the uh, mid thousands. I'm just going to climb up. They did a, a Sonic Hidden Gems game after they did uh, the Sonic Collection. And uh, they did a lot of obscure Sonic games. And what they need to do is they need to do like some deep cut cult classic games. And this, this would be on there. This would be a good one to put on there. Dang it. Um, and I think that would be kind of some cool fan service. I would love to see a... <clears throat> um, Sega Saturn collection. The Sega Saturn does not get enough love. And there's a few... I mean, you could fill a collection of 10 or 20 games... Uh, Sega Saturn games. Really good Sega Saturn games. Easily. I want to complete this level. What's up, Sergeant Tom? How you doing, bud? Yeah, how you been? Hope things have been going well for you. You're going... So, Charlie Brown, you're in Ohio. What's going on in Ohio? Is this the end of the level? Okay. I want to get to the stage select. Yeah, um, I was really close to ordering the one, the Tower of Power, um, that was, uh, a Japanese exclusive. Dang it. Gosh dang it. There you go. Um, this is still really awkward. I want to get to the end of the stage, man. There's like no enemies. And when I first played this game, I'm like, what the heck's going on here? Um, but... Yeah. That would have been neat. And, you know, they released this thing in Japan... You know there's got to be some love for it if people are buying this thing, if you're offering it as like a little add-on or whatever. Um, and I, I love that there's little secrets. Oh, man. Okay, I got the, the secret stage. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm not very good at this. And I'm not a big fan of this particular stage. I do appreciate the 3D graphics. Um, it is reminiscent of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Dang it. Okay. 
All right, let's get it. Yes. Made it. Cool. But it's just really slow. Also, the uh, Sega CD, whenever you uh, pull, you had to track down the UFOs, that's what it kind of reminds me of. And I can never see the blue dots, man. See? Like, I can't plan for that in time. I'm probably not going to make it. See, that was a good thing. I got one. Ah! Got two. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Got it. Nice. Yeah. So it would be really cool to have some kind of cool collection. I mean, they could do some they could do some really strange Sega games, Sega CD games, 32X games. Um All right. So you got Mighty the Armadillo, SPO the Chameleon, Charmy B, and then my favorite's Vector the Crocodile. So we'll just look at this. And it, it's bizarre. It's like a theme park or something. See, it, it's very bizarre. Like, Charmy B. Okay, I got the B. Yeah, I love God of War. Um, I remember playing the first two God of Wars on the PlayStation 2. Back in the day, I played them right out of college. I remember playing them right out of college. I'm like, oh man, this game is so freaking good. This doesn't really matter where we go here. We'll play a little bit. Yeah, I saw that on the Sega Mini. I, I'm not going to hack my Mini uh, <clears throat> because I have this thing. I literally have every single Sega Genesis game on here. See, this is where you start to see enemies. See, I don't know if this is like a... I'm not too familiar with this level. Yeah, Vector does like this little like jump thing. The music here reminds me of uh, Sonic 3. And I love the graphics here. I I love them. I love the new characters. Absolutely love the new characters. What is this doing? Okay. <laughs> See, this is more like a Sonic level, okay? The first part, I guess, is like a tutorial, like... Jump. There. There. Vector got big, man. I love that little ability. Dang it. Let's just go this way and see if it takes us anywhere. Nope. Dang it. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Alright, I think I messed up, but uh, we'll see. I think it's going to take me back to where it was. That's alright. Um, yeah, some deep cut characters here. And hardcore Sonic fans, they love these characters. Um, there we go. Made it. <laughs> Nice.
And I don't know what the story is of this game. I really don't care. Um, <laughs> how do I get up here? Oh, he can climb. Okay. Cool. Is this going to take me back to where it was at? Maybe not. And you don't get an extra life. Dang it, I don't want to go that way. Uh, why, how did he get the bubble and I didn't? The second character is bizarre, man. I'm the bee now, man. He could fly. Oh, that's cool. I like the bee. This is not bad. This is probably the best game on the 32X. Hands down. Alright, that was a lot of fun. Okay, we're going to play a few more games tonight. I'm, I'm actually enjoying this time here playing the 32X. Just seeing how long I've live streamed here. Almost an hour. Okay. So let's play. I kind of like this format. Just playing some random games on a system. And I'll do that. I'll do more of that. I mean, I could just do like Super Nintendo one night. I can do Nintendo. I can do what? I mean, really anything on this system. Okay. Calibri. I think that's how you say it. Calibri. Calibri. It's like a, uh, <clears throat> a shoot 'em up, but you're a humming bee. And this is also another great game on the system. A really deep cut, kind of cult classic game that not a lot of people know about. And just a bizarre concept? Really? Um, I don't know. <laughs> You guys are just going to see it for yourself in a weird name. I mean, I would not see a game like this selling well. Let's just say that. It almost has an Echo the Dolphin kind of feel. If that makes any sense. How do you shoot? I'm supposed to be able to shoot. But you're a freaking hummingbird. <laughs> I just died. How do you shoot? I mean, it's very vibrant. It's colorful. I can say that. And kind of peaceful, if you will. Trying to figure out how to shoot. I don't want to go down there. Okay, well, I was like getting pushed around for some reason. That stupid frog is down here. I want to know how to attack. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> I swore you could like shoot. It's been a while since I played this game. But I remember being able to like shoot from your beak. I don't know. What the heck, man? This one is a bizarre one. I'm pushing every button I, I have on the system. Uh. Okay. Maybe I need to touch this.
I don't know. I'm about ready to turn this one off. Let's get eaten one more time. There we go. All right, let's play something else. I, I might have to play that one on my own to figure out what the heck's going on. Metalhead. Um, I don't know where games are left. Man. Yeah, it's going to be hard for me to play all the all these games in one sitting. Um, let's get through the M's. And then maybe I'll do the N's through Z um, later this week. So let's play Metalhead. This is a really strange mech game. I'm really familiar with the 32X library. There's not that many games. And most of them are either just arcade ports or, you know, ports from other, you know, from the Sega Genesis or whatever. So very very familiar with this library um, and I've played a lot of these games I own a lot of these games I own almost half of the library this game is strange I own this game and uh, not horrible that talking head is hilarious Okay, so you, you have a map and you do have ammo, so wow, okay, got him, got him too. Okay, you can boost. It's been a while since I've played this game. I mean, I mean, look at this. The graphics here, nothing to write home about, man. It, it. I mean, it's better than a Sega game. I'll, I'll, I'll say that about it. It's better than a Sega Genesis game. The graphics are better, but if you compare this to, to say, the PlayStation. It's nothing. I mean, it pl it loads faster than a PlayStation game, but man, it looks like garbage. Now, does this look better than the the Jaguar, the Atari Jaguar? That might be a very good comparison. Now, the Atari Jaguar had a bigger library, but to me, the the Atari Jaguar, yeah, it's supposed to be sixty four bits. You know do the math all that the slogan and stuff but man I keep missing this dude that would actually be a good comparison but not really I mean because there's a lot of games on the 32x that don't look as good as this game if that makes any sense uh, they just look comparable to the Sega Genesis uh, maybe a little bit better than the Sega Genesis Come on, I'm gonna blow you out of the water. There you go. Somebody's shooting at me. This is not a bad game, but it's not a good game either. Um, it's playable. It's a mech game, I'll say that. Gosh dang it, I'm getting tore up there. Come on, there you go. Alright, I'm losing power here. Where's the last enemy? Alright, you can change weapons. This one only has eight. Why is my uh, map like flipping out? Music here is not very good. <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. Um, I think I had this game complete in box even. 
Mission. Oh. All right. I've had enough. <laughs> Let's play Mortal Kombat 2, and that'll probably be all she wrote tonight. Um, <clears throat> it's Mortal Kombat 2. What what do you want me to say? It 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 looks decent. It looks better than the Super Nintendo version. It looks better than the Sega Genesis version. Does it look as good as say the arcade? No, heck no. Uh, but it's it's a good version, and if you have a 32x, I'm sure that. You know, this is probably one of the must-have games on the system. Difficulty, very easy. <laughs> Alright, so let's play. I'm going to play with my boy Liu Kang. Now that I take it back, maybe it doesn't look as good as the Super Nintendo version. <laughs> You know what I might do after this? We might load up the Super Nintendo version. Gosh dang it. Whoa. I got my butt whooped. I put it on very easy. What? <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh, cool. We got to see a fatality at least. I put it on very easy. That's not very easy. Seriously. And that was the first freaking level. I gotta try that again. That that was bad. Uh, my favorite Mortal Kombat um I don't know man it, it's tough <sighs> it's tough MK2 is up there uh, for some reason I've always liked um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 1 is a classic He just keeps ganging up on me. Nice. At least we're getting some fatalities, I guess. Yeah. It, it, what's up, Pika? How you doing? You know what? <laughs> I can't end off of that. So... Let's play some NBA. Actually, let's play Motocross and then NBA Jam. Because I know Moto, Motocross is not a good game. It's terrible. Um, there's a Super Nintendo game. I'm going to go back and play the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat 2. Just so I can get a little comparison for myself. But this game is horrible. Okay, I own it. It's garbage. It's absolute garbage. Yeah. Good to hear from you, buddy. Look at this title screen. It's garbage. I mean, there are better Super Nintendo games. Much better with the Super FX chip. Uh, I can't remember the name of that particular... Oh my gosh. I can't remember the name of that particular motocross game <laughs> oh my oh my lord <laughs> hey <laughs> uh, but it is a million times better than this game there's also um it's, it has a really bizarre name. It's like Moe's Extreme Off-Road Mountain Biking or something. I don't remember the name of it, but it's better than this garbage. And whoever programmed this game, oh wow. They should be ashamed of themselves. Um, and if I were a 32X owner at the time, and I took this home... 
I would take it back. I, I mean, even back then, looking at this, I'd be like, what is this garbage? I mean, it's playable. But is it fun? No. Um... <laughs> I mean, listen to that. that. I mean, that's probably the best part of the game is listening to those guys say, Hey! <laughs> I mean, it's very comical. Knocked him off the bike. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's play some NBA Jam. One in the 32X night with NBA Jam. And then uh, we'll go and we'll look at um, Mortal Kombat 2 on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, Knuckles Chaotix. I played that tonight. It's awesome. Really fun game. Really good game. It is the um, killer app on the 32X system. Hands down. All right. Claim. Iguana, man, I remember Iguana, so, man, Iguana was this killer back in the day. Alright, let's change the options up a little bit. Extra easy. Man, the music here is just atrocious. Um, yeah, I will agree with, I agree with you there, Pika. The Super Nintendo music is a much, much better. I'm going with my boy, Sean Kemp. He is, he is one of my all-time favorite players. One of the best dunkers in history. I was obsessed. Wait, who am I? There we go. I had to figure out who I was for a second. Okay, that's how you shoot. Oh, I want to dunk so bad. Boom shaka laka. Okay. There we go. Okay, it's just taking me a second to figure out the controls again. I love playing this game in arcade. It's one of the best arcade games ever from the 90s. Boom! The nail in the coffin! And just those sayings. So good. Made it. Yeah, they made Torok. Ah, how did I not get that rebound? Ah, oh. nice. I'm gonna let him score. Ah. Oh. There we go. Um, I actually really like the Sega CD version of this game. And I really like this game on the Wii. Believe that or not. There was kind of a revival there in the mid-thousands um, with this game. And always a classic. Gosh dang it. I got the ball back. And this game, oh my gosh, it's so cheap. Um, I've noticed that the computer, it, it cheats so bad. It cheats horribly. 
Especially, I mean, if you're winning, the computer comes back much easy, like just super easy. I think we get the ball. Nope. Jams it in. Yeah, the sound quality in this version is not that good. Tied up. The music is atrocious here. Ugh. Um, NBA Jam is kind of a you know reminds me of um, what the heck Arch Arch Rivals. Uh, it's an arcade game as well. I think it might have been made by Acclaim as well. Um, but an arcade game from the 80s. And you can literally like run around punching your opponents. And I, as a kid, I rented that game on the NES. And for some reason, I just got a kick out of that. Every single time. <laughs> and I, it's back when I could rent an NES game. For like 99 cents for five nights. Ah! Got it. Surprised I haven't get called called for goaltending yet. Oh, I should have known better. Sean Kemp's three point rating on this game is awful. There you go. There's a goaltending. And you got it for three points. There. Come on. Nice. Boom shakalaka. See? Oh, the computer is so cheap. Alright, we're going to keep playing here. I'm going to play a full game. Yeah. I love, I love NBA Jam. I'm not going to lie. As cheap as it is, I don't care. I would love to own the original arcade. I know that there's a uh, um, going to be one up arcade one up. Um, yeah, I got it. Of this game uh, and you can uh, basically compete online with it is if that's what I read correctly. I read it in passing. Control to Wilkes. Like they're trying to be cheap right there. And they were. And you got to watch your injuries. Um, they could pile up and they basically make your stats go down. Boom, shakalaka. I'm in a lead here. They're going to try to shoot for three. Oh. Why did I try that again? Okay, good. I got the rebound. There we go. Nice. Vanilla Hang Time. Hang Time. That's a great game. I have that on the 64. 
Awesome game. I also like College Slam. I mean, they're all essentially the same game. Ah. Alright, I'm in the lead here. I think I get the ball. I'm going to stay with my boy, Sean Kemp. I didn't get the ball back. Oh, well. All right. We're going to see the computer be cheap here. Ah. Um. I can't remember what version. There's one where you have like power ups. Nice. Dang it. Ah. Dang it, I thought he was going to be able to make that. Wow. Alright, I'm probably going to lose now. Alright, I'm within two now. If I can get a possession back, I'm good. All right, I got to score quick here. Razzle dazzle. Rejected. If I can just keep it going here. Ah. Oh man, I need him to score a three pointer. Bad. I lost. Yep, I lost. All right, let's play the Super Nintendo version of Mortal Kombat 2. I ought to remember I'm starting with NFL Quarterback Club. So let's go to the Super Nintendo version. MK2. And I'll do a Super Nintendo night eventually. Mortal Kombat Metal Marines. That's a great game. <laughs> Michael Jordan, Chaos in the Windy City. No thanks. Mortal Kombat 2. Oops. So here we go. Yeah, I... It's frustrating. The game is just frustrating in general. So this will be the last game I play tonight. And I'm just look... I just want to look at the graphics... Um, maybe play a couple rounds here, but, uh, I wasn't impressed with the 32 X version. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I thought the 32 X version was supposed to be better. Now this version, just a little history with Nintendo and acclaim and Mortal Kombat. This version has the blood. Okay. And, um, oops, Mortal Kombat 1 on the Super Nintendo. Now look at this. This doesn't look, I mean, 
I'm going to be honest. I'm not, I'm, I'm not impressed by the 32X. I mean, it looks very similar. I mean... I mean, to be honest... I am not impressed with the 32X. Come on. Got him. I mean, at least Mortal Kombat 2 <laughs> port or whatever. What the heck? And this is Jax before he got his arms. We always thought he was saying a bad word there. What? And I still can't do any of the fatalities. I There you go. That's what I do. I can't do any of the fatalities. All right, we'll do one more round. Raiden. Yeah, I mean, obviously the arcade version is going to be the best. And I'm not really trying anymore. I I really just wanted to see the graphics. Um Yeah. Ah, uh, come on. I could still pull this off. Got him. Win or lose here, this will be my last round. There we go. Come on. What's all? Ah, all right. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching. I will actually <coughs> this week or this weekend. I will continue playing some more 32X games. I'm going to play through the entire library. Now, will I do that for every system? Absolutely not. Um, and again, I, I'm having a lot of fun with this uh, Retro Pie. That's why I bought it for some streaming like this and just playing some random games, some random systems. I mean, there's some weird stuff on here. I mean, you got the super graphics. Um, Things like this. I mean, you got TurboGrafx CD on here. There's a lot of games on here that I am not familiar with. Uh, the TurboGrafx 16, you got the TI-99. I mean, even Vectrex on here. And some of this stuff I'll use for review purposes. Um, some of these don't work for some reason. But, but yeah. Um, I mean, the Amiga CD, <laughs> you know what? Let's see if it's on here. Um, it's not on here. Dang it, it's not on here. Um, it's, uh, dang it, it's the one that Angry Video Game Nerd reviewed. Dang it, it's not on there. Huh. Or is it on the Amiga? No. But anyway, uh, you know, like I'll do like 5200 games one day. I'll do 7800. I'll play 2600 Lynx games. Whatever. Atari ST games. Whatever is going 
going on? Uh, you want to see what the retro pie looks like real quick? I'll show it to you. Um, it's in, I really like it because it's in, um, it basically looks like a, uh, Super Famicom Mini, and I don't have a Super Famicom Mini, so it's just kind of cool to have this particular model, and uh, you can actually do a lot of cool things with it. Uh, I can get, connect to the internet. I can um, do all kinds of things with it. I, I'm still learning, but yeah. Okay, guys, well, that's going to be it for my stream, um, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Let's see what Pika said. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. And if you like more, if you like these, let me know. And uh, as kind of, you know, I'm not doing a whole lot of edited videos, like I said, here in the next couple months. Uh, March is kind of when I start picking up again in my channel. Especially with game hunting, reviews, um, just random like unboxing videos, like... I have so much like stuff piled up over here. Like I have an Atari loot box I've been hanging on to. Um, I have all these system, these little at games systems that I need to unbox and play and try and, and stream a couple games off of there and just give some, some, you know, thoughts on it. But anyway, um, all right guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. I could keep talking here. <laughs> For some reason, I was full of energy today, and, and I wanted to stream. So uh, have a great rest of your day, guys.